I'm Andre J. Hey, I'm Star. Welcome to another episode of Exploring the Video Synthesis Ecosphere, where we dig into some things about all of these weird little Raspberry Pi scents, and I sh show off how poorly prepared I am for these, <laughs> and how I actually maybe think that I know how to do this shit, but um, don't really, so. <laughs> right. Love it. But yeah, what are we going to talk about today? So today we're going to be looking at spectral mesh. Um, we're just going to be looking at the different oscillators, the X, Y, Z axes of it, and just layering, getting in and out of things. Yeah, like I think like a big sort of like rule of thumb for all of these is just like, how do you get in and out of things? Yeah. How do you not just sort of like dial yourself into a corner and just sort of be like, well, I'm here, this is cool, but I don't know... Or yeah. what to do next like so sort of like just like the intentionality of stuff and mm -hmm. starting to dig into that but yeah so we've got spectral mesh running here we've just been kind of playing with it a little bit it's more or less like at like a default state mm -hmm. but um we want to talk about sort of like um amp mod and phase mod how to use those to make the oscillators interact in some crazy ways and how to bring them in and bring them out without like getting completely lost in the sauce right so and you want to start messing around with the Y oscillator? Yeah. Oh, actually, let's turn these off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So those two buttons that Star just turned off control amp mod and phase mod uh -huh. for spectral mesh. We'll leave those off for now. We've just got like a little bit of X and a little bit of Y, and we start to dial up the frequency on that, and then mm -hmm. we can see more of what's going on. And that's this one right here for Y frequency. And right next to that, to the left, is uh, X frequency. Frequency is how many times does it wobble per screen. Mm -hmm. So it can wobble just a little bit, or like just like the whole thing can wobble in and out, mm -hmm. like it was doing when we started here. <laughs> but I think like the the important thing about all of these oscillator controls, they're bipolar, meaning that like if you want to turn them off, so if you try turning everything down to what looks like zero then it just like, it, 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 uh, if we try to turn things, like a lot of people just want to be like, oh, this is zero, let me turn this off. Oh, yeah. And then you're like, that's not zero. Yeah, that's funny, you said zero and I immediately went to the Star default. Knows yeah. what, Star knows what's up. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, um, you're like, no, that, that's zero. I'm like, what's zero? <laughs> Negative, yeah. But because these are bipolar, they go in both ways, you know. Mm. Um, so the middle is what, what we refer to as zero. Yeah, so we middle everything out, and then that's sort of like where you get back to like your, your default state. But yeah, it's sort of like whenever I'm playing around with spectral mesh, um, a lot of times it, it, it won't like quite matter what the video input is if you get to like that crazy like 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 it's totally like woven like fabric oh, yeah. stage things where it's just like a bunch of stuff is uh yeah so i want to make layered. sure i can always like sort of like smoothly come in and out of these mm -hmm. things i have like all my hands all my fingers i mean all my hands i have two hands um or do you <laughs> <laughs> We and just got first. This was a Freudian slip, <laughs> but we got live. Andre is an alien. That's all I heard from that. <laughs> multiple hands, more than two. I'm not gonna confirm or deny any of this. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got a little bit of X and a little bit of Y going on. So let's crank up the R button over there. On here. Yeah. Um, right here. And then start to like do Ooh. some more stuff with the frequencies on both of these. Ooh. Oh. Well, let's see what happens when we turn R on and off. So you can see without the, 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 I should have done more homework. I can't remember if that's phase mod or amp mod. I think that one's phase mod. Yeah. So without phase mod or amp mod off, we've got this sort of like really like rigid like up and down kind of thing. Like Y is just going up and down. X is just going this way. And then when we start to like bring those the the, the S and the, or the M and the R buttons in, 
that's where it gets more depth. Ooh. And it seems to like pull things in and out in a really like interesting way. Yeah. So we're getting these like ripples where it like we have these moments where you can see the actual video input and then it gets really like stretched yeah. out. So that's sort of what I'm talking about where we can get like we can pull make sure we're not like completely obliterating our input video, but make sure that we also get some like really crazy distortion happening too. Yeah. And then all these buttons, S, M, and R, next to the um, amplitude controls for each of the oscillators, these will be different wave shapes. So let's just cycle through the different wave shapes, too, to see how they interact with this stuff. Okay. So that's just S. like a square. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Yeah. Let's see. M. And that's a saw wave. So if we, as you can see, as we turn it up, we get these kind of like slanting things happening. Yeah. And if we bring up the X a little bit more. We can make the saw waves kind of curve in and out too. Mm -hmm. And let's look at R. R is just straight up noise. So this is like smooth noise though, not like harsh noise. Yeah. So it's much just like a pseudo random like way to like have things sort of blob in and out. Whenever I'm just like, I don't know what I want to do here, I just turn on the noise oscillators and like give them like free reign and let them take over. Yeah. <laughs> and you can add, so like, you can add on top of something that I like about spectral mesh is that I feel like you can really add on top of other, like you can just keep going, you know, and it'll just like somehow blend the two different effects. Yeah, if we go try changing each one of these too while leaving those there. And then, because once these oscillators are like modulating one another, um, it's sort of like, it, it, it starts to get somewhat exponential how like the mm. different shapes affect each other. So you can see we got square wave on the X doing yeah. phase mod and M mod on there. So we're getting that little like unaltered like strip of video going down like that. Yeah. And then the super distorted video up there. And if we do the, the um, saw wave, we get like similar thing, but it's like angled up. And if we do noise on noise, then it's like, where is everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we can also bring in the Z oscillator too. And Z oscillator, if we hit these two right here, then Z oscillator does phase mod and amp mod on X oscillator. <laughs> yeah. So now we're layering things up to another level. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of the, the spatial distortion things, just a teensy bit to get some um, landscapes happening. Uh, can I do feedback on this right now? Ooh. Probably not, but oh. I mean, something's happening. <laughs> well, that purple is my desktop. And then the gray is OBS, and this is the feedback, I think, but it really doesn't know what the fuck to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I was thinking about, so I'm working on the updates for all of these, which hopefully will be done at the end of September. I was thinking about just putting one button that just like bypasses the camera and does internal feedback with Spectral Mesh. Oh, that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of nifty. Yeah, that would be really cool. So, you know, trying to do that on all the things because well, artificial light will run without any input. I'm trying to rig it so you could run wave pool without any input. Mm. There's been some people who like I'll, I'll post like the videos of like wave pool doing no input stuff, and they're like, "What's going on? What's what's the input here? Is this yeah. like fractal zoom?" And I'm like, "There's no input. Like, yeah, I just turned the input off, and I'm just playing it by itself." And they're like, "But no, really, <laughs> what is the input? Like, <laughs> don't be a VJ on me. Like, tell me what's going on here, bro." And I'm like. <laughs> okay, so here's a question. You know, we were we were once seeing each other, mm -hmm. and now we don't, right? Where we have this kind of, and it's I know what I know what I know that I'm affecting it, right? You can see yeah, my you can hand. See your hands moving around. But where did I go? <laughs> you know, how do we get back there? 
So putting everything, just remember, the, the, the secret is grab all of these sliders and just try to zero them out. And by zero them out, I mean put them right in the middle. <laughs> and then I think we want to zoom out just a tiny bit too. So that's that one right there. So, oh, there, there we, we are. are. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still there. We just kind of got like extra like mutated for a oh, I see. Uh, and we're zoomed in a bit. Maybe that's why I was like, where do we yeah. go? Over <laughs> here. <laughs> I do, that is one of the things that I really like about Spectral Mesh as well, is the zoom feature. Yeah, because then you can get like, you can go, you can go for a while and then like it just goes into infinite space. That's my favorite part is this. Oh, when it just goes yeah. and then it flips around? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, then it comes, <laughs> and then it comes back. Yeah, definitely a favorite. <laughs> oh, nice. But yeah, and then you can also do, let's see these two right here and if we have these two these two wait these two these two and these two that's where it gets real messy but that means every single oscillator is phase mod and amp modding every other oscillator mm. so it's gonna get real out of control real fast and even if you're like real close to zero on this it's like what the fuck is this even actually doing but Fun fact, if you've got a lot of buttons pressed and you're like, still feel like you're lost, unpress some buttons. <laughs> Fair. Oh, there we are. Yeah. See, that's Starting to return out. back to normal. <laughs> Looks like, look like a cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's a little sort of in and out of like using the oscillators on Spectral Mesh and how to like make them go extra crazy and how to make them go tame crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I think next episodes, we've got some ideas for the next episodes. It'll be Phosphorm into Wave Pool. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, that's another good idea for another episode. I think, I think definitely getting to the point where we start layering or like start routing like artificial life <laughs> with like <laughs> wave pool or like temporal vortex oh oh here's an idea so we can do phosphorm into wave pool next time and then we can do wave pool into wave pool next time Ooh. <laughs> yeah yeah that's a so good like one the dual wave pool thing like that is sort of like i don't even think i've done that yeah it works yeah. really well <laughs> that sounds cool actually yeah that'd be a good one all right awesome well thanks for watching as always have fun let us know what this does for you, does it tickle your fancy, is it not enough talk about telepathy, too much talk about telepathy, <laughs> um, yeah. You know, as always, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, we got the teacup in there. Oh, wait, click it again. Oh.